Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode 101 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So I wanted to start this episode off telling you about what we did in episode 100. If you missed it, it was a three hour episode. Basically, we assembled this. This is the biggest part of our entire, uh, of our entire episode. You can see we have some glass down in there so you can see all the channels and whatnot. But basically, there's two spawners here. And uh, they work pretty well. So we're going to go down here and we're going to look at how many mobs we have. I don't know how long I've been standing here. Um, I just logged back into Minecraft for the first time and oh, I don't know since they recorded last like two weeks ago and I'm sorry if it's loud but we're gonna kill them off the bat get some XP going so uh, we can go enchant literally whatever we want and I think what I'm gonna start off by enchanting is a diamond hoe because now when you use a diamond hoe or any other you know iron wood stone whatever um, it breaks leaves really fast, and what's good about that is if you get fortune on it, you can get a bunch of apples. And by a bunch, I'm not sure the exact number, um, but yes, a lot of stuff happened in episode 100, so go and check it out if you missed it. And uh, make sure post notifications are on, because episode 102, 3, and 4 are going to be coming out after this one each day until Sunday, and then next week I'll start again on Thursday, of course. Uh, but you don't want to miss anything, um, and uh, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like for this MLG jump, look at that. I would really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, let's get straight into it. So I really did want to start breeding some, not breeding, growing some other kinds of trees because, and where's our minecart? You know what? I'm just not going to question it. We did start digging that down when we wanted to, so uh, let, me, let me, I'm going to talk to you guys. Look at this pickaxe, right? Look at this pickaxe. We got some pretty good pickaxes, right? We have some decent armor. It has good fire protection, decent protection in general, but it's not, it's just not that good. Um, so I did want to get some better enchants, and the good thing, oh, there's our minecart <laughs> at the end of the hallway, but the good thing is that spawner really does give you levels super quickly. Um, I'm very lucky to have found two spawners right next to each other. If I didn't find those, then this would be a different situation, and I wouldn't be able to enchant things like I'm doing right now. Uh, but with these 32 levels and the diamonds, I think I have a pretty good bit of diamonds, uh, but I'll be honest, I do not remember how many diamonds we have. And I just heard a villager, so we are actually breeding villagers as well. We'll go up there in just one second, and we'll look at it. Um, that's not the right chest. Definitely not in the dirt chest. Yes. Okay. And we have this right here. I was going to enchant it. We're going to see what we can... Let's see. We're going to see what we can get. Hopefully something decent. If it's not decent, that's okay too. But I'm hoping that we can actually get something worth our time. But if not, you know what? It's just the way the cookie crumbles, guys. You know, sometimes you can't control it. We're just going to click on it. Uh, you know what? Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3 is probably actually very good. I don't really care too, too much about the apples because I don't necessarily need them. Uh, but this is going to break things just insanely quickly. Um, so our villager breeder is actually over here. We're not going to be doing too much with it this episode, but next episode for sure. Um, and I did build a really cool wall. Um, it's, it's, not that, it's not that intense, you know, the redstone in here. Um, but you know what? For me, it was kind of intense and I just totally messed it up. But you know what? We're just going to... We're gonna forget I did that. Um, it's not too intense, you know, redstone wise, but for me, it was intense, okay? I'm not too good with redstone, if you can't tell. Uh, we can break this block <coughs> and then put this back pretty easy. So we can just block that off, verify that she works. All right. So these villagers are actually breeding. Um, we have carrots in here. All we have to do is just throw them down, like, like a certain amount, like seven for each of them. Um, and what I'm going to do in the next episode, I think, is we're going to expand this bad boy and we're going to make a farm in here. And that uh, farm will allow them to actually breed on their own. I'll have to do a little bit of research, but that's okay. But that'll be in tomorrow's episode, so we'll just leave it be for now. But I built a chandelier. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so now on to, to some new stuff. What we, <laughs> So basically, when I came down here, I came with... Um, some spawn eggs, which people kept questioning me. They're like, why do you have a spawn egg? Oh, I saw a spawn egg. I'm like, guys, guys, I'll, I'll explain this one final time. In my above ground world, on the first like 70 episodes of this Let's Play, I have every animal in large quantities, aside from pigs. Um, I had a bunch of cows, I had a bunch of villagers, a bunch of bees, so I did give myself two bee spawn eggs. But if you, if you think about it, I just transposed the bees into bee spawn eggs and I killed the bees. If you want to think about it like that. But we can do some bees pretty soon. Uh, but as you can see, we have acacia saplings, which I would like to grow. We have birch. We have spruce. And, of course, we have dark oak, which we there, I had to bring down four because you can't grow them otherwise. And then we have jungles. So these are all the types of trees that we're going to be trying to grow. Now, the only issue is, is the rooms actually have to be quite large to grow these. I don't really know why. I mean, I guess it makes sense that you need a really tall ceiling. But, yes, we have quite a few... Uh, number of trees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a ravine which we already have purposed into 
kind of a tree farm, right? It, it, it's it's an oak tree farm, but it's not really a, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it is a tree farm, but we don't really need oak anymore. You know what I mean? Like like we've we've pretty much you know tired out the oak under here. We we've used oak for literally everything, and it wouldn't be that hard to convert this into say any other kind of tree farm. So before we do anything with these, we're going to need to clear all this, this wood out, which is fine. Uh, but we're going to try out the new hoe, which is, this is new for 1.16. So it breaks it kind of like shears, but it doesn't give you the leaf, uh, which means you can get saplings and it breaks just a lot quicker. You see what I mean? Than like your hand, I mean, obviously you guys know how fast it is with your hand. Kind of slow, but with this, see what I mean? So it's kind of nice if you're trying to clear out some leaves pretty quickly. It's not too helpful under here. Uh, because I have to chop all this anyways. Uh, but if you were, for example, you know, in an above ground world and you wanted to clear out a few leaves or something like that, um, I feel like that. Oh, I feel like that would be insanely helpful. Uh, maybe not, but to me, I think it would. So what I'm gonna do now, off camera, is I'm gonna mine out this entire. This this whole thing is like like some of it's too thick of wood, some of it's three. And we'll go to the end here and I'll show you. I know a lot of you have already seen this, but some of you are new. And uh, welcome. If you're new to the channel, I'm very happy that you found my channel. It seems like episode 200 was recommended to a lot of people who had never seen my series before. So welcome all to the series. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, always makes me happy to read comments when you guys are talking about um, just, you know, you watching it or, you, or, or you, you know, you're going through a hard time or something and this helps you, you know, get, take your mind off it, whatever. It really does make my day when I, when, when I hear all this stuff. So thank you to all the new people who are watching. I really do appreciate all your viewership. There's a lot of content creators out there nowadays and, you know, it's a, it, it's a pretty saturated, um, you know, section on YouTube, you know, Minecraft Let's Plays. There's, <laughs> there's just quite a few of them. So thank you so much for watching me. I really do appreciate it. All right, well, enough rambling. I'm going to clear out this big old tree. It's going to take quite a while, but that's okay. That's what I do. We're just, we're just, we're working hard to make this a great world. So I'll see you in a second. So the thing is, is I don't know if you guys like, you know, get bored. If you watch me mine wood, here's the thing. I've always skipped it on at least this underground part just because the trees start to get a little bit crazy. Um, as you can see up here, if we build a little staircase in the leaves, uh, you can see that the trees also have their own uh, staircase and they've gotten, dang it. They've gotten all the way to the top, if you can see, let, let me come around the corner here. Let's just find out for ourselves, how high up did they really go? I think they literally went up the entire ravine. Yeah, pretty much, like that, oh man, I thought I fell again. See, like, that's the very tip top of the ravine, and they've made it all the way up here. And this is all leaves, this is where the diamond hoe is helpful, right? If I clear out all this junk, then I can finally see where the actual, where the logs are that are creating this mess of, this, just, just... This mess of disarray of logs. I mean, it's just ridiculously large. Like, look at this. Look at that. I mean, we can see a few that they poke through the top, but it makes you wonder, like, why? Why on earth did the generator do this? And I don't know. I, I really don't. Sometimes when there's a bunch of trees next to each other, if they get, like, big, you know, like, you know, when you grow an oak tree, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small. Well, if it decides to generate, like, a large oak tree, and it generates three of those next to each other. It ends up with this, because usually they're not this, like, you know, compact up here. Um, so it's just, like, it's kind of a pain to watch sometimes. But I guess with this, it's kind of fun, because you can go around and just, like, you know, demolish everything. Um, so basically, my plan is to convert this ravine into a tree farm that allows all tree types. Uh, meaning that I'm going to have to expand it side to side a little bit. Uh, but the thing is, is I'm not exactly sure about the sizing, you know, because each each sapling type needs like a specific size um, that it's like, you know, for allowing it to grow. It has specific bounds that it'll grow in. And I don't know what those numbers are. How t I know like the obviously the height in here is fine. Um, it's more so the width. So I'm going to have to expand it outside to side, which it shouldn't be too bad, especially with our new tools. Um, but yeah, this is why I don't show mine in the wood. If you guys are ever curious, you're like, why do you always skip that? I don't, I don't think you want to watch this anymore, so let me finish. Okay, well thankfully I think we're pretty much done with all the stuff up there. At least that's my understanding from what, from where I can see right here, it looks like we're done with the, with the boring stuff. So for the, pretty much the entirety of this underground portion, we've been, um, you know, using this as an oak tree farm. And you know, it's only four blocks wide, so we're really just going to expand it side to side and I think it'll work just fine. So people keep asking me like, Neo, when are you going to go up? Um, and my plan is, is when I get bored down here, which I don't, it's an indiscriminate amount, I, I don't know how long it's going to be. I have no idea. 
Um, but eventually, whenever I decide that I'm bored in this underground part, we're going to go above ground. And I think I'll do a little world tour once we go above ground, just to try to catch everyone up on the above ground portion of my world. And then I don't want to jump back into where I was above ground because I was bored there. So I'm going to start probably a new area above ground. Let me know if that sounds exciting in the comments. And guys, you, like keep in mind here, I, that's probably the plan anyways, but I really do want to hear some feedback. So if you wouldn't mind typing out a comment and telling me how you feel... Uh, about me going back up to the top and starting a new area of course I still want to do the world tour like I talked about but I really do want to start a new area in my world um, and I have some pretty cool plans for how I want to do it I want to have like a wood age a stone age an iron age and a diamond age or something like that and uh, I, I, basically what that means is I'm gonna have like certain goals like I can't go too deep underground until I get you know a certain kind of armor to protect myself I'm gonna make like you know little Little things for me to follow that aren't necessarily, you know, like something you have to do. Uh, but it's going to be something that I choose to do. And I think that might make it pretty fun. Uh, but let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. Because after all, you guys are who I'm creating content for. So I really do value your opinion above mine. Um, as far as what my content is going to be. Because I don't want to make something that you guys don't want to watch. But I feel like you guys really enjoyed me starting over underground. And uh, obviously we're not to the point where I want to leave yet. We don't, really even, we don't even have netherite tools. Um, and I think eventually we'll meld all the worlds together into one big thing, but I'm trying to find my footing in the world, and I think I found it in kind of being nomadic and starting, you know, new areas and stuff like that. Um, so let me know in the comments. I really would appreciate it. I know a lot of people out there don't leave comments, and that's completely fine. I'm not talking to you, but for those of you who do leave comments, if you wouldn't mind leaving a little bit of feedback in the comment section and letting me know what you think about that, I really would appreciate it. And thank you so much for those of you who do. I do appreciate it. Even though I just said that. So I went and grabbed some scaffolding, obviously, as you can tell, because I can't really go up too, too high with this, uh, you know, this standard reach of the Steve, the Steve who man. He doesn't reach very high, so we're going to have to use this scaffolding stuff, and it really does help. Like, if you're going to be drilling out something, and, uh, you know, you need a little bit of, you need a little bit of leeway side to side or up, up and down, you can always use this. You can even, you know, go on here and you can... If you need to go side to side, you know, just go over here. I think it's super helpful. And I'm sure a lot of you have used it before and you use it a lot. But for me, for some reason, I've, I've played this game for quite a while. And I, I don't know, they add these new things and I always forget about them. And, you know, it's never on purpose, but I, I really genuinely do forget about them. Okay, so the only problem I'm encountering... Um, is that I tried this before you can tell that this ravine is a little bit wider in this area I've tried this before with a spruce sapling and uh, no dice it never grew so I think it may have just not been wide enough so I'm gonna try my best to widen this out a pretty good bit um, I'm gonna do it off camera because again I don't think you want to watch me mine a bunch of stone um, and if you do want to watch me mine a bunch of stone go watch my 50 by 50 quarry live streams We've got about 27 hours of live stream footage So if you want to go watch me and my girlfriend Lauren dig a hole then I you know what hey Power to you if, if you enjoy it you enjoy it uh, you know I understand some people do so if that's what you want to see you can go and watch it uh, But for now for the let's play I'm gonna do it off camera and uh, basically I'm gonna expand this like probably another one over something like that and then we're we'll go a little bit higher too I don't know how high I really don't um, but see that's the thing I don't want to I don't want to make myself work too hard to do something that won't even work uh, so we should probably test to see if it works first um, I know the trees will eventually grow under here it's just a question of how big do I really have to make this wall to make it work and that answer is I don't know but I like to kind of find these things out myself the hard way so give me a bit I'm gonna dig out a little bit and uh, once I'm done I'll come back and show you how she looks all right well you guys know me I went and grabbed an iron pickaxe and uh, I've been digging this out I use my diamond one and then I'm like I really want to save that for on-camera use until I get mending because it's way quicker obviously you guys don't want to watch this but if we pull this guy out well, it's a lot quicker. So I had to go put up some cobblestone. My inventory was completely full. We're already almost full again. And as you can see, we have a ton of oak logs that we got from mining out those trees. I was going to finish this little section right here, and then we're going to call it good for now. We're going to see if this will grow trees. Um, I did not do the other side, so that's obviously something I'm willing to factor in if it doesn't work um, in terms of if I will try more later. Uh, but if this doesn't work, then I'm going to be kind of <laughs> discouraged because uh, this is quite a large area. I mean, I, I guess it's not like that big, but like, I mean, surely that should grow every tree type, right? At least that's my understanding. If it doesn't work, that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to grab one of every kind of sapling. We're going to grab a bunch of bone meal, which we have a skelly farm, so we have pretty much unlimited bone meal. 
which is always a good thing. You need bone meal more than you think, um, especially if you're going to do a tree farm of any kind. We tried to do a flower farm here, um, and then we found out very promptly that you're only going to get red and yellow flowers in this biome, so it was pointless, and we gave up. Now, if we could get to the flower forest underground, um, I think that would change. Obviously, we'd get every kind of flower, I think. Um, again, I'm not for sure on that, but I'm pretty sure we'd get every kind of flower. And didn't we? Yes, okay, we did get another chest of stone. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, let, okay, we grabbed those, now we just need our saplings, which are right here. And now hopefully we don't, I mean, well, obviously we won't waste any of these, but I'm hoping that all of them will work. I mean, we don't really know, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm sure some of you out there are like, dude, that's not big enough, it's not gonna work. Um, but the, again, there is a very specific size for each kind of tree that it will accept, you know, as a large enough area to grow in. I'm not really sure why that is. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, like a jungle sapling you don't want, you know, growing in a small area. I, I, I get that, right? But I don't get, like, the spruce sapling is, like, significantly larger than the oak sapling. And it, it's very, very tedious to get one to grow. But we'll see if we can do it with this big of an area. Um, we'll even remove the torch on the ground and we'll, we'll put it, you know, over here in case that's, you know, an issue. We'll put another one over here. Um, but, you know, this is like, you know, three, four blocks of space on either side and, you know, an extreme amount of space above it. So surely this will work. Ah, finally. Okay. So we can grow a spruce tree here. That's very, very good. Um, hopefully we get the saplings back. We already got one sapling back. Okay, that's good. Can we get another? Yes, three saplings. Okay. We'll probably get another, maybe. Yes. Oh, two more. And then we don't know about the top, but we'll find out. Okay, so spruce is a go. Uh, that's really good because that's like my favorite kind of wood. Um, and that means we don't really have to expand it too much. We'll have, to, we'll have to break off that little two wall right there, but that's an easy project I can do between this episode and next. Um, and then I wanted to see if any other... Oh, there we go. So we have six spruce saplings already. That's very good. This is what I mean, though. It's very helpful in a variety of situations to have this bad boy. Uh, we're going to move this. I'm serious, guys. You should enchant one. It, you know, it's not a waste anymore. Um, okay, so now we're going to try a single jungle sapling. I feel like that will work, but I don't feel like a 2x2, two two, you know, four jungle saplings would grow. So, of course, that grew, which is awesome. I don't really like jungle wood a lot. It's, it's an okay wood type. Um, but we're going to see if a big tree will grow just for fun. Um, it's fun to play underground because, you know, everything you, you know about the game normally is kind of different. Um, so, it, you know, it, it invites you to, you know, have some challenges. Wow, we only got two saplings from the, that, that tree. Okay. Well, we're going to grow two of them then. Will this one grow? Oh, wow. Okay. Will this one grow? Oh, it's combined them. Okay. Um, we'll see if we get any saplings from this. My guess is yes. I don't really know why we wouldn't get any saplings. More so, I hope we get the, more than two from these two trees. Let's see. Are we going to get more than two? That is the grand question. Is it going to be generous and give us maybe three? Maybe four? Um, we'll find out soon enough. I just like this because it always sometimes takes forever for like some leaves to break and it's annoying having to wait for them. Um, especially if you can, you know, prevent that by just, you know, enchanting a hoe. I think it's a good idea, you know? And it's not that expensive, just two of your favorite material, whatever you want to do, iron. Maybe you don't want to use any of your diamonds yet, just make an iron one. Okay. So we actually got exactly four saplings. So we're going to find out, is this area big enough to grow a big tree? And my guess is no, but we're going to try anyways. Yeah, well, we're going to try with a little bit more bone and maybe 20 more bone. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we got a big tree. <laughs> okay. I really was not expecting that to work. I really just, I, I wanted to know, but I didn't want to know that bad. So now we have a big old tree. Um, that's, you know, it's not a bad thing at all. It's not really that good of a thing either, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but cool, we could build an underground tree house if we wanted to. We could build we could build a cocoa farm if we wanted to. We could build whatever we want. I, th I think a cocoa bean farm would be kind of fun. We could make some cookies. We have a big wheat farm. Um, that looks interesting. You just look down the hall, you just see a giant jungle tree. Well, cool. Let me take some screenshots of that, and then I'll be back. Well, yeah, we got a jungle tree, so that's super nice. Um, it, it looks interesting on thumbnails. You know, when you get a, usually a tree this big, you know, it's not going to be underground. So, quite an interesting thumbnail, a confusing perspective. Um, definitely a confusing perspective when you look at it because, well, we're underground. You know, I've said that a million times, but 
you usually don't see these underground, as you guys know. So it's it's kind of a cool achievement, you know. I, I can finally say I've grown the largest variant of tree in Minecraft, but underground. Is that an accomplishment I'm proud of? Uh, not really, but it's cool, you know. So that's that counts for something. So I'm trying to make sure I get all my saplings. Um, I'm going to be very stingy because I don't want to lose any saplings. Um, so I think being stingy is a good thing here. We're going to see just to make sure because I don't want to... I don't want to miss something stupid and not, you know, and you know, end up with no saplings here. And I can't tell if we've gotten any or not. I've, I can see a few have fallen, uh, but that's really it. Okay, we can walk over here and uh, make sure all the vines are gone. I don't really particularly want a bunch of vines growing, but, you know, if they were to grow, that's okay too. Um, you know, because vines are not ugly by any means, but I'd, I'd rather place them myself to make sure they go in, you know, specific spots. Uh, but that's good to know, so we can grow both variants of jungle trees, and now we have six saplings. Okay, so we got two more from that deal that was not that much. Um, now, acacia saplings. Okay, I don't have any idea if this is going to grow. I don't really know anything about this tr tree. Is that really how they grow? <laughs> I feel like, I feel like in, in my mind, I don't think that's how it's supposed to grow. Uh, but you know what? Maybe that is how it's supposed to grow. Is that really how it's supposed to grow? Like a base tree and then another on top? I don't know. Either way, that's kind of cool. Um, I've never really been, you know, I don't really have a strong opinion on this wood type. Um, it's kind of ugly because it's so like, I don't know, for lack of a better word, I'm the term I'm looking for is bravado because it's so bright, but I don't think that's the right word. It's just very in your face. It's like orange. Uh, you know, and, and in some in some situations, it's a nice wood type, I suppose. But I feel like most of the time, it just kind of looks, you know, a little a little strange. You know, but if you like the color orange, power to you. It's a it's a good kind of wood. Uh, but if you don't like orange, I don't really, you know, I don't know why I'm talking about this this kind of wood. It's like you guys have never seen it. But no, it's it's definitely not my favorite. If we didn't get a sapling from it, I would not be too sad. But I would be confused if we didn't get a sapling. We didn't get a sapling from that. Are you serious? We really didn't get a... Am I just... Am I missing it? If so, I mean, I, the, each tree is supposed to give at least one sapling. Uh, did I miss it? Did I... I had to have missed it because you have to get one sapling from every kind of tree. I, I swear to God that's the case. I guess I really did not get a sapling, so I don't have any more acacia wood. You know what? I'm not too sad about that one going away. I think that's okay. Birchwood is kind of, you know, the same way for me. It looks okay. It's not my favorite wood. I like the logs a lot. I really don't. The planks are okay, but the logs, they look cool. Yeah, see, like, this one gave a crap ton of saplings. Look at that. We got six from just that one tree. Okay, well, that's nice to know, but my favorite kind of wood by far is dark oak. So we're going to see if one of these big old boys will grow down here. Now, they are a thicker set tree, so I'm not so sh Okay. Well, the first piece of bone meal decided to grow a very big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a thick tree. Look at that. It's like f three blocks thick in some places. Nice. Cool. I may want to take a thumbnail of that, because I, I honestly like the way dark oak looks a little bit better than every other kind. I feel like that's the best thumbnail I can take. I don't know. It looks good to me. Either way, I'm very happy to see about the dark oak wood. Again, that's like my favorite kind of wood. You know, it has a nice chocolatey undertone to it. It's very, it's just like a dark wood and it looks really cool, right? If we make it into planks, the planks are even really dark. I just think it's a beautiful wood. You know, oak wood is a lighter wood. Um, you know, birch is the lightest wood. And then we have jungle, which is like a pink undertone wood. And then, of course, we have birch, which is just, you know, out of the blue orange. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. I guess it's out of the orange. See, I shouldn't... All right. Anyway, so I think we're going to grow a bunch of dark oak trees down here, assuming we get more than, you know, eight saplings. Um, if we get eight saplings, we can grow two of them, obviously. But if we only get four, uh, then we can only grow one. So let's see how many we get. This thing is so helpful. And I've already used a good bit of durability on this hoe, but, you know, at the same time, eventually I'll get mending, um, and that'll be good. Uh, did we even get four saplings? Okay. I was about to say, because there's a chance that I did not get four saplings, and in which case I would be very, uh, I guess sad would be the word. Maybe sad. I don't know. More so disappointed. We got five. We got six saplings. Okay. You know what? That's not a bad deal. You have to have four, of course, as you know, to grow it. Um, so that means next time we grow them, we only need two, uh, which is really nice. 
So what I wanted to do now is I'm going to go and grab a bunch of dirt and we're going to grab some grass and we're going to convert that whole area into a nice little grassy area because I don't quite see the point of it being like wood, you know, in the middle anymore because it's not like a, it's more so like a man-made ravine now than a normal ravine because I feel like we've changed so much about it. So I didn't think of this idea until right now and I'll probably need to, you know, take more thumbnail shots, but that's okay. Um, it's always good when ideas come to you, you know, at a variety of points. What I need to do before I do anything is we need to put up all this wood, okay? We have a bunch of types of wood now that we don't necessarily need in our inventory immediately. I always carry a stack of oak logs. That'll never fail you. Oak logs, always good. What in God's name are you doing? Buddy, no, I did not hit you. I did not hit you. Why are you in my house? How did you get in my house? How did we get- how did you get in my house? Oh, I'm so confused, dude. I'm so confused. How did you get in my house? What are you doing? Buddy, pal, friend. What are you doing? How did he get in my house? Dude, okay. I'm gonna be honest here. Is it be- I'm so confused. I genuinely am confused because- I guess they spawn once- because I'm breeding villagers, right? That's the only reason I could think for an iron golem being in my home. Uh, but other than that, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how he's, you know, gotten himself in here. I'm just gonna chalk it up to the iron- to, to, to the villagers, but I accidentally hit him. I was trying to break out the roof above his head, but no, he was like, you're trying to hit me, obviously, aren't you? Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I heard that noise and I was like, what is that noise, dude? Like, I could not figure it out. So does he just hate me now forever or if I run away and come back, will he, will he be, will he be more friendly? But see, that that's why I'm confused, right? I understand Iron Golem because I have a certain number of villagers, I guess, but why did the, why did they, I didn't even shut the door. Why did they, why did it not spawn in here? You know what I mean? Like, why is it, why is it over there? You know what, some of these questions I don't think I'll, will ever, you know, be answered, but I'm kind of confused. That scared the crap out of me, because I've never bred villagers, right? But it makes sense. I guess an iron golem spawns at some point. I also don't know how many carrots to throw, but it's okay. We have, like, the largest f carrot farm in history, so we can just kind of throw them wherever. Um, okay, so did this guy need a little bit more carrots? You need some carrots, buddy? So I'd like to have two babies going, not just one. There's one baby. Can we get a third going? Can we have three? Because I, I really do like the... I guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if we need to make more beds, but if we do, you know, we have a spider kind of a farm. That's one thing I do want to design is a spider farm. Uh, because I really genuinely do not know how to design one because, you know, they climb walls and such. So I think there's some, you know, sort of some block you can use to farm. them. I, I don't know what I don't know what it is. Anyways, back to the, back to the topic. Let's go find out if the Iron Golem still hates us. Uh, my my guess is yes because I recently hit him. Uh, but I'll be honest, I had no idea. I was just trying to break out the roof from above his head because he was dying. Uh, where did he go? You don't hate me anymore, right? I really did not mean to hurt you, man. I d I did not mean to. Yes, you know that. He's stuck here. He can't move because of this fence. So we're gonna. Here you go, pal. Can you come out now? Can you can you? Can you leave now? Is it is this possible? Can you not walk over the slab? No, oh, the slab got you down. All right, what about this? We're going to modify this area so much just for the iron golem. Can you move freely? Can you go down the sta You know, I'm not going to push you to do anything you're uncomfortable with, but if you'd like to go down these beautiful stairs. Oh, good dude, dude, you're getting a little close there. Getting a little close there. Build not a flower farm. Yep, that's not going to work. Get fortune three pickaxe. Oh, yeah, we already have it. Make an XL auto smelter. Looks good on thumbnail and stone bricks. Well, we have, we don't need, necessarily need that. A kelp farm. Yes. Village breeder. We already have that. Bamboo farm. We don't have it. Make double mob spawner. Yes, we did that. Okay, you're going to go down the stairs. Only because I want you in my main part of the house. I don't really need you to be... I don't need you to be up here, and you don't even fit up here, so why why, why not go up here? Oh, <laughs> whoops. Uh, why not stay down here in the in the Emporium? For I wish you would go up to your villagers and protect them, dude. Uh, so is that how you make a f an iron farm? Is you have a bunch of villagers, and then the iron golems want to spawn, but then they die? Something like that? Probably. 
I, I don't I don't really know how they work at all, but that's cool. Um, I was I was kind of concerned there for a little bit. Sorry if I scared any of you by yelling, but um, I've never you know just built something and then all of a sudden there's just this big old dude being like, "What's up, man? How are you? I'm doing good." Um, you know, standing in my living room, but you know what? That's okay. Eventually it was gonna happen. We were gonna get our very own iron golem. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now between when I come back is I'm just going to break out the floor essentially. Not gonna be the most fun thing in the world, but you know what? I do a lot of stuff that's not too too fun uh, just to make this world as great as it can be. Um, eventually, like I said, in between this episode and the next, I'll probably do it. Um, I'm just gonna expand this, you know, wall back three over here to this area right there. And then this wall is just going to be expanded two blocks, uh, you know, this way inwards. And then all the way to right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna fill in all this area with grass. What I'm gonna be doing, and I'll just show you a little bit of what I'm gonna do. Just in case you guys are like, I really wanna know. We're gonna break out all this stone. Uh, you know, to over there. Then we're going to fill all this in with dirt. That's pretty much it. So, you know, not something I really think you guys are too interested in. But again, if you are interested in the monotonous things in life. Did I even grab a block of grass? I think I heard that villager making weird noises. Not the villager. You guys know what I mean, though. I heard that thing going... Burr, 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 burr. And it really was dying because it was stuck in the ceiling. But, you know, I tried to save it and then it got mad because I hit it. Which, you know, I understand. You know, if you get hit, you get mad, I guess. So, he just didn't like me from there on out. Uh, which is kind of sad because, you know, I wish the Iron Golem would be my friend. But it seems like now he doesn't actually hate me. So, I think we're in the clear there. Um, I don't know. I guess I didn't get the grass. So, let me go grab that. Alright, well, I've gotten the elusive grass from my chest. Yes, I did not even grab it. I guess I just got too flustered by... Whatever was happening, and I went to go check it out. The Iron Golem's happy. We, me and him had a long talk about my accidental hitting of his head. Um, and we're okay. We're on good terms now. He said he's very angry with me, and he said he would like a truce um, as long as I don't hit him in the head. If I hit him in the head, uh, I owe him 10 diamonds. So that was the deal that we struck. It. Hours of intense negoci negotiation over, uh, you know, some hors d'oeuvres. We had some, said we had some salmon and apples, and uh, I even threw in a little bit of red mushroom, uh, but I, you know, red mushroom's all gone. That's one thing, I want to do a mushroom farm, but I have not, I haven't found any mushrooms underground. I thought that they spawned underground, but I really, honestly, honest to God, I've not seen any mushrooms underground anywhere. Um, so maybe they don't spawn underground anymore, maybe I'm just going crazy. I, I don't know, like, do they spawn underground? I don't know. Someone tell me. I feel like they do. I'm like 99.999% sure they spawn underground. I know they used to, for sure. Now, you know, in today's Minecraft, in a bold new world. I'm not sure if they do or not. I have no idea. Uh, but yes, thank you guys for watching episode 101. I know it wasn't the most exciting episode in the world, but again, some episodes are going to be like that. Uh, do make sure post notifications are on. Again, it's just that little bell next to the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, awesome. There's just a little bell icon down there. I really do encourage you to click it so you don't miss any future episodes. This series is going to be going on for quite a long time. I have no plans on slowing it down or stopping it. Uh, my college again will start soon. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And, uh, you know, all my classes, you know, are extended seating. So the way my college is doing it is you can choose to either, you know, take online classes like they normally offer. Or you can take an extended seating, which means you watch a live stream of the class. Um, you know, and that's, the, you know, that's what I'm doing just because... I don't know why I'm doing it. But, you know, I think it was because there was no online variants of the classes I wanted to take. I think I'm taking I'm taking like some weird classes, guys. Some some pretty some pretty strange class. I don't even remember what they are exactly, but it's gonna be interesting. I think Um I don't know. I just don't think it's gonna go too well because of what's going on. You guys know what I'm talking about, but we're not gonna bring that. This is Minecraft. Probably trying to escape all that right now. Uh, but in my opinion, I don't think this is going to be, I don't think it's going to be very, uh, a very smooth thing, okay? It's going to be a little rough over the next few months, um, and I hope my channel is a good distraction. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye! Oh, by the way, you can follow me on Instagram, at the, uh, at te neo cubus, no, at the neo cubus. Oh my gosh, I cannot spell the neo
Sorry, I have to look around my microphone. That's why my voice gets quiet. So you can follow me on Instagram at the Neo Cubist if you really so desire to. You can see my cats. You can see whatever you want to see that I put on my my Instagram. Um, I really do encourage you guys to go there and follow me. Um, there's also a Discord, which I will try to remember to put in the comments. I shouldn't say that, and I don't have the Discord. But I also have a Discord server. And uh, if enough people ask me, I'll just just say, Neo, you said you were going to pin the Discord invite link. Someone say that in the comments, because if I didn't do it, if I did do it, then, you know, you don't have to say it. But if I didn't, and you notice that the pinned comment doesn't have it, then uh, someone remind me. Sorry. Ugh, hang up. Someone remind me. It really would be helpful to know. Um, you know, you guys keep me in check a lot. You're like, Neo, you said you'd blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, I did say I'd blah, blah, blah. Let me blah, blah, blah real quick. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!